I was at the Hell City Tattoo Convention in Phoenix, and I was just wandering around, kind of bored on a Sunday, looking at stuff, and I saw her booth, and I looked through her portfolio, and I was just really drawn to it. Um, it was late in the day, so she wasn't there at the time. So I took a card and researched her a little bit afterwards before I made contact with her. I initially wanted two turtles. I kind of thought maybe like a three by five size. And I sent Michelle some references. And then uh, she sent me back, you know, simulations and it kind of just took off from there. I really feel like the having all of the, the flowers and the animals and, you know, my little butterflies and everything has really kind of helped get me in touch with more, my more feminine side. Um, I was always kind of a tomboy growing up, so <laughs> being drawn to this stuff and having the lighter colors and the pastels, I think it's really kind of helped me come into my own a bit. It's, it's definitely unfolded on its own. It's been gradual as we've added things, um, and I see Michelle's work and some of her other clients, and you see how things progress, and it's kind of just grown naturally, like, oh, I really like the butterfly, let's add the butterfly, or let's add the birds, let's add, you know, certain flowers I was really drawn to. I think it's fabulous that she's doing it. Uh, I love what she's putting together. I love being a part of the Bloom Project. Um, I identify with all the girls. We're all professionals in different levels, different things, but you know, we all share that same common interest. And I think tattooing, you know, a long time ago, it definitely wasn't flowery and girly. It was more of a, a masculine style. And so it's nice that Michelle has had this vision that we're all a part of. And, you know, we've all kind of come together on the same idea.